Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about the peanut butter that makes everyone jelly. Let's jump into this. Before we do, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you ring that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload like this. Okay guys, so in all seriousness, what we're really talking about is the Glock 19X, and I think similar to what most people have said about this gun, I really have to say that this is, if I had to give this, a, this gun a formal title or a formal kind of uh, designation, I would say... I would really say that this is more of the shooter's Glock, and what I mean by that is that there are guns out there that are easier to carry, there are guns out there that are easier to shoot, and there are hybrids of that, of course, but this gun in particular really lends its hands to being a shooter, being a gun that is very controllable, very comfortable, and very repeatable in accuracy and in the way that you approach the gun when it comes to shooting it fast and when it comes to shooting it accurately. And I think that that is the biggest thing that I love about the Glock 19X in my time with it. Now, in fairness, we are in a bit of an ammo crisis, so I have not put... Uh, more than a couple hundred rounds through this gun, but at the same time, I know it's a Glock. I know it's super reliable. I'm not concerned in that regard of, you know, I'm not worried that this thing is going to fail me or have any kind of reliability issues. So I haven't ran too many rounds through it, unfortunately, but I do know that this gun is a absolute pleasure to shoot. And coming from a Glock 19, which is what I previously had, or what I still have, but have now gone over to an X to carry, um, this gun definitely feels so much better, really worlds better, when it comes to handling and shooting this thing. And the primary reason that is, as it'll come to no real surprise of anyone, that the 19X is or has the longer handle, the 17 sized handle. And of course this one has its 19 round magazine in it, so it has an even longer handle. But what I find, in addition to having that extra space um, with the handle and of course having no finger grooves, the additional benefit comes with weight. Now, of course, your gun's not always going to be fully loaded, but especially when you have a 19 or a 17 round magazine in this gun, the weighting of this gun when you have it at ready and you're shooting it feels much better than even something like a 19, a standard 19. The muzzle flip is just non-existent. And granted, this is a nine millimeter, so it doesn't necessarily have a lot of recoil to begin with, but just being able to or just shooting this gun even just a little bit you will instantly notice that it is super easy to shoot super comfortable to shoot and uh, I don't really struggle shooting a Glock 19 but I do feel like the 19X makes the experience even better and even easier so Overall, there hasn't been too much that I've done to this gun. I try to keep this gun reasonably stock, and I might add a few more things. I'm thinking of adding a magwell or flared magwell to it. But aside from that, the only thing I've really done to this gun is add a slide release, slide stop uh, extension. So this is the extended slide release. And of course, because this is a light Gen 5, uh, it has an ambidextrous side release, but this is the extended version, and so it has just a little nub on the end, and brings the side release out just a little bit more, and even though it seems like a pretty minor modification, it really helps the uh, quality of life of this gun, and makes it that much easier to just hit that side release when you are using the gun. So, it is really fun to shoot, really easy. Like I said, that's the only mod I've made so far, though the 19X does come with Glock night sights from factory, so there is that feature as well. But aside from that, uh, the gun is basically a Gen 5 G19, or almost a kind of tan-colored, desert tan-colored um, Glock 45. Now, of course, this one does have the more controversial um, kind of flare here, and, of course, this gun does not work with the Gen 5 magazines, unfortunately, unless you remove this little bit, 
which I haven't done quite yet, and I'm honestly not sure I really will because there are an abundant amount of Gen 4 and of course Magpul magazines that work with this gun, and I kind of like this little piece. A lot of people don't. A lot of people think it's uh, just stupid and unnecessary, but once again I like how it kind of flares out the front of the uh, handgun and makes it just a little bit more comfortable, you know, kind of locks you between this part or this kind of like flare here and between the uppercut there. So it makes the ergonomics of the handgun really nice for me, in my opinion. So that is what I have to say about it. As far as an EDC handgun goes, for those who don't know, I have been EDCing the 19X with a 19 round magazine, like such. Um, it's been a great gun to EDC. I've honestly been quite surprised, uh, appendix carrying this handgun, how well I've been able to kind of bury it or hide it, and how well it's been concealable. There's quite a few friends that I'll be carrying this and until I reach out to show them this handgun, or until I show them that I'm carrying it, they didn't even realize that I had it on me. You know, most people figure I do carry something, but they are not expecting a 19X with a 19 round magazine on me. And so I have to say that I'm very impressed with the overall size, but still very good concealability. And even if you went down to a 17 round magazine, still reasonably easy to conceal. In fact, I actually did some frame size comparison between the 19X and my CZP-10C, and the actual size between the two is pretty similar. I don't think I would quite have the same luck carrying this at the four or five o'clock position, but appendix carry for this gun has worked out very well for me. And once again, carrying something that is such an easy shooter and something that has or carries 20 rounds uh, like this or in this kind of uh, size is very awesome. And to me, definitely in our current situation, a very welcomed ability. So overall, my thoughts on carrying and shooting the G19X have been very positive. I really love shooting this gun. In fact, I kind of wish we weren't in an ammo crisis because I would like to run a few more rounds through this gun and get a little bit more uh, enjoyment out of it because it is just so fun to shoot. You just sink right into it. But aside from that, the carry and the shooting have been absolutely amazing on this gun. Uh, it makes me very happy to run and overall as far as this goes in comparison to the G45 I think I would probably still stick with the 19X just due to the fact that I like the color more and with a simple modification if you were to remove this little bit here uh, it would be basically the same pistol as a G45 minus of course the forward side serrations so Overall, it's a great gun. They are a little bit more tricky to find nowadays than when they first released, but they are still awesome. If you get a chance to shoot a G19X, I would highly recommend it just because it is such a great gun to shoot. Uh, and if you get the chance to pick one up, I would encourage at least taking a look and considering it because they are surprisingly easier to carry than you would think. And of course, they allow you to carry 20 rounds, 19 in the mag, one in the chamber. Anyways, I'm happy to say that I added this to the collection and you guys are going to see a lot more of the little G19X on the channel. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.